Hi everybody, it's Miss Downs again. Week two, I'm gonna read you a special book today. It's kind of special to my heart because um, I wrote it and I also did the pictures. So I'm really excited to be able to share this with you um, because it's actually about a famous artist and I really love his work and I wanted to share this story with him. Um, when he was a young artist, he used to say that a line is a dot going for a walk. And I thought that would make a really beautiful story. So I made this story. It's called What Paul Made. And it's a story about a young artist, Paul Klee. And he's the one that actually said that. So um, I'm excited to share this with you. I'm a little shy, you know, I'm kind of introverted. So <sighs> I'm excited to share with you, but I'm also really kind of, eh, kind of, kind of silly about it too. So um, I dedicated this book to my parents. So let's get started. This is Paul. And this is Paul's dot. Paul's dot follows Paul everywhere. Jumping through puddles of blue. Walking up hills. Visiting the sun and bringing a, a little yellow back down. Climbing through the leafy green trees. Grabbing some apple red. Skipping around the flower beds of pink and yellow. Running across the front yard. Through the soft green grass. Paul's dot making marks along the way. Following Paul. All the way back home. Look, Dot, look. Look at what we made. The end. I hope you liked it. I hope you were able to see the illustrations. I had a really, really good time making this book and making the drawings and everything. So my question to you, and it's at the, ba at the back of my actual book. It, the question is this, if you had a dot, what would you make? So since we're kind of stuck inside, I was wondering if you had a dot and you were able to go outside and pick different things with different colors, green, pink, blue, purple, what would those things be? Would they be different than what Paul's were? With the sun being yellow, the pink being the flowers, the red being the apples? Come up with your own version. What would you make with your dot? And what would inspire the colors of what you made? I'm really excited to see what you're going to make with this. I hope you liked my book. I really, really loved making it. I'm working on other books right now too, but it takes a really long time. 
But anyways, I'm really excited that you were able to listen to my book. Thank you being, for being such great listeners. I really miss seeing you in class. I appreciate you all so much. I just love being able to create things with you. I miss you, and I hope that you're all doing okay at home. And if you don't have a lot of colors, like I said last time in my video, I only have a few markers and some pencils here. It's okay. So you can still do these things with just a regular pencil if you don't have colored markers or crayons. And you can just write the word of the color where you want it to be. So don't let it stop you with your creativity just, in just because maybe you don't have paints or different colors of markers and things. So don't let it frustrate you. You can always be creative, even if it's just with one pencil, okay? I miss you, I love you, and I look forward to seeing you soon. Mwah. Goodbye, everybody.